Hi, I'm Tom Hurley with Hurley IR. We're 30 years in the manufacturing business, a small company. We um, started as a non-destructive test company, um, coming up with uh, methodologies and applications of using, using thermal imaging. Um, developed systems for Coca-Cola to make a better Coke bottle. Uh, developed units for the Federal Highway Administration to see delaminated concrete in bridges before it was a pothole. And um, one of the reasons uh, I'm here today is to talk to you about what's transpired with our company and, and, and because we became very good at sensors, especially infrared sensors, the DOD pulled us in and uh, under the current situation right now there's there's no funding available and uh, the company is uh, is uh, going through tough economic times. During this we decided to go back to some of our scientific roots and in that process um, the Army did ask us would we um, develop something for seeing invisible gas leaks. Um, we did that and we developed a camera that will see invisible gas leaks at considerable standoff distances at very low pressure. Then we tied audio to that in the ultrasonic region and could actually detect the leak uh, at considerable distances. Uh, the, they lost the funding and that project sits still. We moved on to uh, another project which was near and dear to my heart was helping the soldiers uh, with IED detection. We developed the cameras for the DOD uh, that were on the RG31s and different vehicles for detecting buried IEDs in the road. I've taken this technology to study a little bit further if we can see a person born um, bomb on, on under the clothing. Um, we've moved on this type of invention or sensor invention have, have come a long way. Not only do we feel that we can see it and uh, see it at considerable distances, we also feel that we can mark the anxiety of the person wearing it very early on. We were then asked by Johns Hopkins Hospital to help them with understanding how thermal imaging could be in a better medical uh, use. And, and the nice thing about thermal imaging is it's passive, there's no radiation. So it's, it's not harmful. You can be imaged as many times as you want. So we designed a camera for them and actually wrote the software for detecting melanoma. Uh, the first one is already out. It's just a prototype, but there's been tremendous success. Uh, in Hopkins laboratories already at seeing melanoma at a very early stage. Melanoma is much bigger under the skin than it is on the surface and its thermal pattern under the skin is quite a bit easier to see. My goal on that is to eventually have almost like a kiosk you can step into that will take the images of your bodies and send uh, these images off to uh, an institute or a hospital to be reviewed and to be able to catch something very early on and because it is passive it's, you can do it as many times as you want. You can build a profile or a history of what your body is doing. And so you could chart changes. I think this would go a long way. It's very tough to get it going through the medical industry. And they suggested we go outside and develop this where we might have greater attention and then bring it back into the medical industry. These are a few of the things that we're working on. We were also asked to go and develop something for drug interdiction. So I developed or started the prototype process of developing a um, a sensor that will actually see you in the dark at uh, hundreds of meters away and listen to your conversation at hundreds of meters away. And that's kind of the things we're working on. We need help with all of them or any one of them uh, to move it forward. Thank you.